Okay, I've got this pack lock. How is it? It's a 100A from Charles Buildscrap, or Charles Current, um, of the Lock Sports Cast, which is the podcast all about Lock Sport. If you're not a subscriber to it, uh, you really should be. Uh, if you listen to podcasts at all, it's an excellent weekly update on sort of the news and happenings. Uh, anyway, I won this one. Um, there's a logo lock. Um, it's a sticker as well. Um, here is the bidding of this one, which is pretty bad. Um, so I'm not anticipating this being super difficult. Um, this is it fresh out of the packet. Um, and you know, I'm not like too impressed with the finish on that, to be honest. Uh, like this key's a bit, you know, like dappled looking. Um, yeah, it doesn't, you know, bit average. I mean, it doesn't matter. It's a key. Like, really, who cares? But, you know, um, the actual padlock battery is perfect. No issues there. Um, this is the just the packet it comes with. So it's 100A, standard shackle, it's orange. Uh, they're all key different, so luck of the draw, what you get. Made in the USA with global components. What does that mean? Anyway, they're very proud of the fact that they're made in America. Uh, pack lock, and they reckon they're great. Um, I reckon they're pretty fine. Um, but they do make nice logo locks. Got that nice flat body, that brushed look. They really come up nice for uh, logo locks. Um, the other one would be like the just gonna uh, the Speedlocks Tournament of Champions luck, and that looks really quite nice. All right, let's um, just demonstrate this does in fact work. Nice snap there. All right, let's give it a go. Uh, using a reasonable tension. The tight pins on these can make them a little bit more difficult. Be careful not to get stuck on that warning too. Yeah, I think that's not the pick for this. I think I need the medium SS dev will be more effective. Doesn't feel like we got anything there. Ah, uh, we weren't getting pinned one. That's the problem. P 
pin one was the binding pin and it was just stuck. Oh, damn it. Pretty sure I had that picked then. Hopefully we didn't lose too many. Yeah, I know just a false set. One. Alright, let's try that again and you know what? I'm gonna angle this differently. Alright. Let me get that tensioner in there properly. Alright, two clicks out of one. Felt set. And there we go. Adjust that tension in properly. Change the angle up a bit. Got it. Um, all right. So not super difficult. Uh, well, a little bit of challenge. Most of that just comes from that, um, we should lock that back up just in case. Okay, all right, so down the shackle hole, let's got this thing. Yeah, I really find that in all the pack lock products, all the American lock, all the master lock mostly, the way that core just slops around in there, I don't don't love it. Come on, still going. Um, there we go. There we go. There's our core. There's the inside. Whatever. 
That's not exciting. Put that over there. Plate off. So one, two, three, four, five, six pins on these. Um, one less than the 90A Pro. Uh, the 100A isn't on the belt ranking list for some reason, but I suspect it's probably similar to the um, the 90. Uh, gut wrench, gut wrench, pay attention. All right. See clip off. Pretty all right little C clips, these ones, though they do tend to ping off into infinity if you're not careful. There we go. All right. So let's turn that up just gently. Definitely needs a shim. This one's probably too big. No, got it in there. Push that nicely all the way through. Follow around and hope for the best. There we go. So. So that's how it whoop, sits in the core. Actually, not too bad. See so the back. Needed only the lightest touch, I guess. Uh, yeah, not a huge amount of room for action on that. But I guess it's not as low as it initially looked. Uh, just at the end there. But still, it's a pretty terrible bidding. One. Two. Not that it really matters. You've got a lot of room in that keyway, um, even for such a small lock, like you can get under everything. So it doesn't matter that much. Uh, so we do have some key pin serrations, which is nice. Uh, tweezers, tweezers. Yeah, just on the longer three at the back there. All right. Driver pins, we've got one serrated, two small, paying attention to which way these come out, serrated, spool, uh, let's go to the other end. Standard at the back and serrated. And then there are springs. I'll just leave them in the core. They're not interesting. They're all the same. Um, so there's our pins. So yeah, we've got these nice serrations. Those are all right. These spools here feel like that probably could have been in the other way around. It's got quite a fat lip here, and then it's very rounded on the bottom, whereas the top is a sharper edge. It'd be more difficult the other way around, but both of them are like that. Uh, so double serration, two serrations on each. Um, interestingly, there's a standard pin at the back, which, considering how much it needs to lift, it could have just been a standard pin. It would have made no difference. I mean, a serrated pin, you know, like... Anyway, uh, and a couple of overset traps on those key pins. So there we go. That is Packlock 100A. Uh, thanks to Charles of the Lux Sportscast.